here in Medan, in northern Sumatra, on the trail of Sumatra's last remaining elephant. Elephants are always on the move. They need a large, continuous, connected forest habitat to feed and support them. What they are finding increasingly is that they have isolated patches of forest surrounded by industrial palm plantations. It's just not enough to sustain them. They can't live in a palm plantation. They need forest. Forest is their home. Plantation is not their home. They need forest to eat, to breed. They cannot eat palm trees. So what I've discovered is that part of the reason why this forest is gone is because factory farmed animals, caged, crammed and confined in Europe, are being fed on the palm kernel. As the forest shrinks, there are more and more troublesome elephants. That's how the locals see them, getting out into the farmland. Uh, and if they can't be got back into the forest, some are poisoned or shot. Others are captured, taken to what they call the training centre and enlisted in the patrols to help keep the wild elephants where they should be, in the wild. Some captured elephants are kept in tourist resorts and eco-centres. But this does nothing to support the wider population of elephants, whose numbers in the wild are rapidly declining, just so we can continue to feed our appetite for palm and for cheap meat and dairy. Well, I think this, the future of the Sumatran elephant is really quite bleak right now. It needs large areas of lowland forest, simple as that. They go, they move long distances, they have long migration routes, and currently, even if not all of their habitat is being taken, if their routes, if their travel routes are cut, they will come into conflict with people, and always, inevitably, the wildlife loses in the end. Ending factory farming will help take the pressure off hard-pressed forests and give iconic wildlife, like the Sumatran elephant, the chance of a future.